Yo, this is Bino Rado, and this is my friend, the Casa interview with the Cruise Show. All right, man. We're from the Casa right now. You feel me? Cruise Show checking in. My guy Bino is on right Bino. now. Bino, my yes, guy, sir. welcome to the Cruise Show. Congratulations okay. on the joint. Uh, fire. Every time you turn on Real 92.3, it's playing. Shout out to yep. DJ Leslie, who's who's playing Bozo. that as well. You know, Every day. When you hear a hey, um, Bino, when you hear your song, right, uh, in your hometown, uh, on your home radio station, what's that feel like? That hits a little different, right? Yeah, bro. It's 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 an experience, like to 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 feel that to to grow up listening to these stations and and uh, to finally hear your song come on and people saying your name and you new know, Bino with cruise show. You know we couldn't feel mm-hmm. that's hard, bro. I love that. Yeah, no, <laughs> Do you remember the first place you were when you heard it for the first time on the radio? I didn't even hear it. Like I was so huh? like. You know, I start a lot of start I signed a deal, a lot start happening. I was moving around so much. People would just call me like you on the radio or tag uh-huh. me. Man, that's crazy. Yeah, man. Yeah. I wanna make sure people know that uh Bino's been working. You feel me? This yeah. isn't just like a one hit wonder overnight type of situation. My guy Bino, this is all muscle right here. Am I right? Facts, facts, years and years of struggle, trial and error. You already know. Yeah, been grinding man. so long, bro. Mm-hmm. Congratulations, man. Yes. We're in quarantine. Um, how's uh, quarantine life uh, working out for you? Um, you know what I'm saying? It's the best of both worlds, really. Like, I'm, I'm ready to get outside. It's, it's really fucking slowing up the momentum. <laughs> yep. You know what I'm saying? But on, on, on the good side, I, I get to spend a lot more time with my daughter, you know, kind of chill for a little minute. That's right. That's right. Uh, but I feel, what, I feel, four or five months now? She nine months. Nine wow. months now? That that's was cool, quick, bro. my G. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. But, but I, feel, I feel like... <laughs> The artist life, though, is very quarantine. Like, you're always just in the studio. Uh, yeah. You go to where you got to go to, you know, there and back. And not much going on unless you're really going out of nightclubs, doing performances, um, appearances. But, it's, you yeah. know, artist life is very quarantine-like in, in a way. So I'm sure you're, you're kind of used to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm used to, you know what I'm saying, being by my lonesome and all that. You know, a lot of my best music I make in these type of situations. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, being in the studio all the time, it's a lot of daps and pounds and new energy that you, you know what I'm saying, you're around, you catch a new vibe. So it, it's hard to stay creative sitting in the same spot for so long, yep. I feel like. Yeah. Have you ever been on house arrest? Nah. That's what it feel like. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I ain't never been on house arrest. Man. I fucked around and called my Have PO you? the other day. My old PO <laughs> just to check in. My G shit. Hey, it's funny. I heard I heard POs ain't even going and tapping in, man. I know the feel of loving that. <laughs> they don't got to. <laughs> yo, go Bino. Ahead, Les. Oh, go oh, ahead, Les. Go ahead, Les. No, 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 go ahead. Uh, yo, Bino, did you ca- did you happen to see uh the, the, the video of, of the corn lady being assaulted? Uh, by two men and, and and just the community coming together, black and brown, to help uh, at the end of this, uh, you know, unfortunate circumstance. If so, um, what was your reaction, and um, were you proud of this, uh, of how the community came together to help? Yeah, bro, I saw um, Twitter some guys. They they went out and reached out to the lady. Said they gave her some racks. You know what I'm saying? Gave her some yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's a that's a big deal, bro, for something like that because that's a that's a bad look. Like as a city, you know what I'm saying? Growing up. Me being black, we love the corn lady, you know what I'm saying? The fruit man mm-hmm. on the corner, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Like it's 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 a part of us as well as it's a part of the brown community, you feel me? Yeah, so it's amazing. I, I it, it rubbed me the wrong way when I seen the clip, you know what I'm saying? So seeing it, you know, the community kind of coming together, reaching out, that's a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? That's LA, baby. That's LA, baby. Yo, yeah, seriously. Yeah. That's that LA culture, LA soul right there. Yeah. Hey Bino, what do you leave the house for right now? Man, you know, Sonny, I, I put a fit on to go to the grocery store the other day, man. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't dressed up. Chain on my G. I'm walking through. There was a little dude. He's like, oh, you got the Travis's on. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I feel you. Okay, Bino, what's the first thing you're doing when quarantine is all done and over with? Oh, good question. Where are you going? Man, what am I going to do? I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Before we went, before, before this all started cracking, you know what I'm saying? I bought a... Uh, a Disney ticket. I took my daughter to Disneyland for the first time. Yeah. And so the ticket came with three days. So I got two more days. So you know, uh, so close now. I might, I might just go up to Disneyland, take my daughter to Disneyland. You feel me? Yeah. Got two more free days. Might as well. That's Other the move. That, that's the move right work. there. You know, that's true. It's, it's slowing up my momentum. I'm ready to. You know what I'm saying? There was a lot going on. I just went to New York to meet Def Jam. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. wow. Really play, play my new music. I got a lot of new. I was going to announce dates. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yep. So this yep, yep. Going yeah. a lot of. A lot of a lot of a lot of the, the fundamentals down. So I'm sure. trying. To... So are you meeting with labels? Are you are you entertaining some contracts? Well, I signed a deal with Def Jam. Oh shit! That's already good. That's done. Yeah. Oh congratulations! Oh, that's, oh, that's it. Let's go. January Clap it up for the young God. Yes, Hell sir. yeah, that's beautiful. Yo, 
Yo, that's major. You know, Def Jam um, is a legendary label, right? Iconic. So to be part of that, mm -hmm. um, you know, I know you have to be thinking about that and the artists that came before you on Def Jam. What are your thoughts on that, man? Bro, like, you feel me? I'm in there like, man, where Russell at, man? You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> they gave me my letter, man. I'm like, when I'm coming out with the new, uh, remember the video game, Def Jam Fight for New York? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, man, I need to be on there. Like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's love. It's amazing, bro. You know, I grew up, you know what I'm saying, watching all type of Def Jam artists mm -hmm. and hearing the roster for, yes, you know, sir. over the past 10, you know what I'm saying, years. It's crazy, bro. Like, I amazing. mean, yo, like, Hove was once the president of the company. I mean, you know, Def Jam is so legendary. Congratulations, man. Have you waiting, um, have you been waiting in line at the store or what do you do? You get the VIP pass? What do you do there? Nah, it was uh, it was smooth. I went to the Ross over by uh, where I'm at, and um, it was cool. You know, I just grabbed a bunch of produce and uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, veggies and stuff like that, stuff yeah. to cook waters. But when I got to the checkout, you know, what I'm saying I had a gang of chicken, bro. I bought a gang of chicken, bro. She like, <laughs> damn, you took it off. <laughs> she like, no, she like no, you can only get two. I'm like, oh no, nah, oh no. So they 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 got limits on everything, but yeah. I don't know. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's just the most uncomfortable grocery shopping experience, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah it's very weird. It's very oh, weird. Yeah. You got to stand, you know, you got to stand apart from each other. A lot yeah. of people are wearing masks and gloves and stuff like that. And you just have to understand it's a, it's a different world we live in now. Yep. Right. Right. And I'm in there with my kids. So I feel like everybody judging me like, oh, I just eat dirty. You feel me? Uh -huh. <laughs> no, don't worry about that, man. <laughs> You know, do you think this is a this could change the game? You know, you see a lot of online performances via Instagram Live and stuff like that. You think it's gonna come to the point where artists do Instagram tours or or virtual tours, and they could save themselves, a, a, you know, trips from you know a tour bus or or plane tickets and just stream from home and make money like that? You think that could be a possibility? Um, yeah, for sure. You know, I've been seeing a lot of artists uh, they've been doing like little concerts from the studio or from their house. You know what I'm saying? Just on like Instagram Live. So I, I I feel like it was a joke at first, but it might become a serious thing. They keep pushing dates back and stuff like that. You know? Yeah. Yeah. No, listen, are are you know, um, are you a student of the game? Do you watch people's live and think to yourself, like, okay, I could I could do something like that, or you mm -hmm. know, what if they did this way or this way, um, it would be a little more better. Um, do you do you critique people's lives? I know I do. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, you definitely watch it because you know I go. I'm a person that go live every all the all the time, mm -hmm. and the label hate it. But you know, what I'm saying I love playing new music, and, and you know, what I'm saying yeah. whatever. Yeah. You know, yeah. So, I mean, it's it's just it's a great tool. It's it, it's it's a part of the culture. It's a big part of the culture. I feel like now, so mm -hmm. I'm definitely watching everybody taking bits and pieces. Like, oh, that's already did that. That's already did. That. I just downloaded TikTok. You feel me? Oh, I don't know. yeah. Like, what I'm Same. Saying. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to TikTok, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's just at being or though you know everything at being or though but i don't even know where to start man i started watching it i was i, I sat there four hours watching tiktok <laughs> i know it'll take you down the whole did, pause did you learn it yet because uh, i can't figure it out for yeah. the life of me man i'm trying to search things to do i don't, I don't know what to do man i'm just i'm just yeah. enjoying everybody else to do. yo are you cutting your own hair are you doing anything yourself now that you would get normally done um, yeah, bro, everything. I ain't, actually, I ain't even went out and got a cut yet, you know what I'm saying, since it's all been going down. I'm like, ain't no reason to. Uh, I've just been cooling for, like, I, I had the tap man over here a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. Got some new tats, so I'm probably just be, you know, doing yeah. that. Too. I, I heard you mention that you, you go on live and you uh, play music. Is there, can we expect anything to drop during this quarantine? Anything for new? Sure. For sure. Any you know, surprises? Uh, well, I guess I could tell y'all, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be up tomorrow. Tomorrow, you know, it's, it's Nip, uh, you know, the anniversary since the whole ordeal. Yes, sir. So, you know, I'm going to definitely drop a record, you know what I'm saying, in respects to him. And uh, I'm giving 50% of the publishing to uh, Nip's family. So that's probably, I don't know if that's going to be the only record I dropped during the quarantine, but that's just something mm -hmm. that I have yeah. to do. I really been holding off. I got a lot of music, but that's something I have to do right now. So, yeah, yeah. No, that's a must. You know, for those don't, uh, who don't know, uh, Bino, uh, if you can talk about it, um, you know, I know it's tough. It's been a year um, and, uh, you know, time has flown by, man. It's so unfortunate that we don't have Nip with us. He's one person that should be here. And I don't think anyone disagrees there. Um, right. But uh, but talk to us about the night where he heard your music and FaceTimed you and then it was on from there. Man, bro, it was it was crazy. It was like 
it was like I woke up, you know what I'm saying, regular day, I was just chilling. And then we just get the call and it's like, whoa. So, you know, immediately we start. That's the first time I've been through that. My heart start pumping. I'm like, yeah, we got to get up there. So we go straight up there. And it was just a vibe. You see where I'm at, it's my house. I got blue lights in my house. And this studio was straight like that. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. blue lights everywhere. And it was just just a different type of energy. You felt like you was amongst like top tier individuals, you know? And so, I don't know, everybody he introduced me to, I kind of held him on a pedestal, like, okay, you you were great automatically, you know what I'm saying? If he vouching for you, you were great. And um, yeah, it was just classic, bro. We made two vibes that day. And from then on, we never missed, like. Yeah, and then you joined him on the Victory Lap Tour as well, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I was a uh, opener and I came out on this set. That was my first tour and that was wow. crazy. Yeah, man. You know, if you had an opportunity to talk to him, I'm sure there's, you know, there's so many things that you would want to say or you would have to be in the moment to know what you can say to him or what you would say to him. But uh, do you have an idea of what you of what you say to him or what you would say to him or maybe what you say to him in your head? Um, yeah, I, I, I think a lot like in making music because, you know, he was a big part of my whole process. You know what I'm saying? We we rarely made music without each other in the studio. So a lot of times when I'm making songs now, I'm just like, man, you just sound crazy on this. Like, or you would have bodied this verse, or you know what I'm saying? Wow. It's like, and then I, I surprise myself because you know I don't really write my music. I kind of go in the booth, and and I'll pop out a vibe. And if it's a pain song, if I'm I'm getting kind of deep, you know what I'm saying? I'll say certain things that have surprised me, and I just feel like that's kind of bro. You know what I'm saying? Speaking yeah. through me, because it's like I don't know. Intellectually, I feel like it, it it messed me up, but it brought me to a different level. I'm more aware of yeah. trying to you know what I'm saying bridge that gap. Mm-hmm. And how will the marathon continue with you, my G? Man, bro, do everything I can as far as, you know what I'm saying, the community, as far as the music, just really, really carrying up the time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah, dog, it's crazy, man. Rest in peace, Nip. Long live the great. You feel me? This shit must continue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, no other way. I'm, man, sure, I'm, I'm sure you have a lot of great memories with Nip. Is there one that stands out specifically to you? Like a, a night, a studio session, a conversation, Private any combo, advice? Yeah. yeah. Um, probably a moment that stands out with Bro. Probably when we put out the No Pressure album, and um, mm-hmm. we was just you know what I'm saying sitting at the laptop, and you know I was independent. We didn't know what we was doing, so Nip was kind of culture. It's like yeah, so we don't. Tune core uploading the songs, doing the splits and doing everything. And and in that moment, we just taking shots and it's like we, we press enter and, and that's sent out and it's gonna drop in a few days. So I'm like, man, I'm really gonna drop an album with Nip. And we just at my house, we taking shots, we 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 celebrating, we making new vibes, and it's just moments like that, you know what I'm saying? I look at pictures and it's like, man, I can still feel this energy, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's yes, crazy. you know, I watch interviews that we've done and I'm like, yo, like he's, n- there, there's just no way he's not here. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. just, you could still feel that energy. You're a thousand percent right on that. Um, facts, facts everywhere in the studio, at home, on stage, bro, I feel bro, everywhere. Yeah, that's right. You get a nip tap? Yeah, I did. Can we see it? I don't know if you can see. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Yeah, I had to get bro. For sure. You know, Is that I him on your neck? I will rise. I got the guy will rise on my oh, yeah, I will rise. Me. Yeah, we see the chain too, right? Oh, yeah. Look at oh, it. Oh, wow. Sam. Man, if you want to send me one, Bino, that's cool, dog. <laughs> totally up to you, though. Totally up to you, Bino. That's easy, Cruz. My guy, my guy. <laughs> Bro, Um, yeah, so shout out, Nick, man. And rest in peace. And, you know, uh, the marathon will continue um, within us. And we will carry mm-hmm. it on as fans, as friends, as family. Um, nice. and, and we will make sure um, that Nip never dies. You feel me? This only never. made him stronger, immortal. Yep. Yeah, yeah bro. It's a legend. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Yes, sir. Hey, um, so we got um, we got a lot going on, man, with this coronavirus thing. Do you know anyone who isn't taking it seriously? And what would you say to that person who isn't taking the stay-at-home rule seriously? Um, well, you know, uh, like the anniversary of his death, I know a lot of people want to go outside. A lot of people want to go to Sloss and Crenshaw and yeah. celebrate, you know, and it's kind of expected for me to be doing something like that, but. I feel like the most important thing to do is to stay at home until we can figure everything out and, and we, can, we can do all the celebrating we want later. Yeah, but facts. right now it's time to come together and really, really take 
initiative to do something about this. And the best thing we can do is stay at the house. That's it, man. Yeah. Seriously, stay home, man. Let you, Leslie. No, I'm, I'm good. I mean, I, I'm so proud of you. I remember the, the day that we got Bozo and, and to see how, how far it has come yeah. in only a few months. I just, I feel like I saw the birth of it and now it's turned into like this big beast. And I just, I'm, I'm happy, proud of you. Yeah, yeah. Straight up. Yeah. So it's, it's, it surprises me, you know what I'm saying, how well Buzzo is yeah. doing. That's just something I made on the vibe. But. Yeah, it's a vibe, 100. Yeah, but it's, it's, I appreciate it, man. Y'all definitely carrying the wave, like, for sure. Come on, man. It's only right. It's another win for the city. What's yes, up, Lester? Yes, sir. You know, um, up and coming LA artists that you, you're rocking with right now, um, you're working with, uh, shout them out. Show them some love. I mean, if, if you like, if if you may. I think it's important for <laughs> the city to come together and support our own, you know. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. No, I agree with that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of artists is on that. You know what I'm saying? I don't mess with people people way, but I ain't really rocking with other artists. But I feel like in LA, that's that's viral right now. So that's easy, man. Blast. You already know that's, that go without being said. Uh, Kaylin, for real, for real. That's my dog. Casey Veggie's been my dog forever. Blue Bucks clan. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 you know. They kill it right now. Yeah, but they going crazy. Them is my dog. They're my youngs. You know what I'm saying? So Blue Bucks clan. I'm rocking with them. Who else? LA, Asia out of Compton, she doing everything. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Of course, Roddy doing his thing. Uh Compton TG, he doing his thing. Uh man, it's it's it makes me proud to see, you know what I'm saying, how many artists is really doing their thing <laughs> in LA, you know what I'm saying? Everybody in their own lane. Nobody really mm -hmm. conflicting with each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We should also shout out mm -hmm. Cypress Moreno as well. Yep. Man, shout Cypress, out Cypress. One take J. Uh, yeah, the whole one Keep take squad. Uh, yeah, for sure. That's sure. my guy, though. Cypress, yep. that's my man. You know what I'm saying? From way back. He was one of the first interviews I ever did. Wow. Mm -hmm. Cypress, yeah, been, yeah we, Cypress. We've that's seen that. his growth, man, seriously. I think I met him when he was like 15 or something like wow. that, trying to DJ and all of that. He'd come up to the radio station, and he's just doing his thing. You know what I mean? He's he's hard to get a hold of now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, he global. Yeah, you know. Hard work. <laughs> yeah, do we, do we have an idea of when uh, when the album is dropping? I mean, I know we're kind of on hold right now because of quarantine, but. Yeah. Um, I mean, really, as soon as I can, you know what I'm saying, get it back going, it's gone. Like, everything is done. I done played it for Dev Jam. I didn't, you know what I'm saying, got it mixed. Every, like, the album is done, artwork, all that. So it's ready to go. I'm just waiting on that moment, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When it's go time, you I me? Mean, yo, have you been watching Tiger King? I just started watching it last night. Oh, <laughs> bro, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. yeah. Who do you believe, dog? Bro, she killed her husband for sure, bro. She definitely Carol fed yeah. her husband to the lions. Bro, to the for tigers. sure. For sure. <laughs> but Tiger King is funny, bro. It's like it got it gets to the point where you're watching it like this can't be real. Yeah. yeah. He had to be Post Malone's uncle at one point in life. <laughs> bro, bro, he had a music video for every situation in his yeah. life. Bro, yeah. For real, my man was releasing diss tracks <laughs> along with visuals, my G. <laughs> Oh, Rappers hey, gotta take hey. notes from Tiger King, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for sure, for sure. It out. Hey, man, bro, that was the craziest thing I probably watched. In the movie. No, I know, oh, man. Uh, Tiger King is the, <laughs> the the king of the internet right now, dog. So, do you yeah. think is um? Do you think he's he's not guilty? Um, I mean, I know I it's hard know. to tell. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Yeah, free him, world man. They live you in, know what right? I'm Free him, free, free him. What's his name, Joe? Yeah, Joe Exotic, my guy, my guy. Uh -huh. Joe, man, free Joe. I, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, he's a good dude. <laughs> yeah, it seemed like she had it out for him, and, and he just was trying to do his thing, and she just would not let him. Yeah, he's standing his basketball. ground, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's, it's a competition at the end of the day, you know? So, yeah. So I mean, he was kind of going in, you know what I'm saying? Like, in court, he had a lot. <laughs> a lot. He had a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> It's crazy. He's talking about killing her on camera and all. You feel me? He had a lot, a lot against him. Yeah. Somebody, he's, he, yo, he, he, he's ready to drop a grenade over her, over her <laughs> ranch. Like, yo, yeah. that's he. <laughs> yeah, that's That'd be true. on hood right there, yeah. dog. Yeah. Bro, on, on, on her bicycle route, he had me crying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she carelessly riding bicycles with the tiger. He trying to drop a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he ran for president, bro. <laughs> Yo, no, I yeah, know, he, right? he ran for governor. This guy Crazy. is such a legend, bro. He's such a legend. We got to free him. I think uh, Cardi B is starting a GoFundMe account. Are you going to donate? 
Wow. Sure, man. We're going to get my guy up out of there, man. That's it, dog. Let's put a little <laughs> something on the books, my G. Seriously. Do uh, know. Rado, thank you very much. Congratulations on everything. And when this gets all sorted out and we can start having visitors back and we can actually, you know, shake hands, uh, we would love for you to come up, man. Pull up to the show, you know? Yeah, yeah bro. Man, I'm happy to be here. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me, playing this song. You know what I'm saying? For sure. When this is over, I'm coming back to apps. You already know. It's love. We're going to pop a bottle or something, man. That's it. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. That that 42, man. It's too easy. Hey. Yeah, for sure. We got to do that one. That's right, man. And listen, if you're bored now, you know you know how to get a hold of us. So if you ever just want to talk, we're here. Yeah. yeah. Hey, we got Zoom. I'm about to tell everybody in the hood. Uh-huh. Got a little fish right there. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Bino Riddell, thank you very much, my guy. Salute. Thank you. Salute, bro. Appreciate you.